Joining me now is Dennis Unkovic, partner at Meyer Unkovic and Scott, and Derek Scissor, senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. Dennis, let me begin with you. Do you think that U.S. China relationships can be improved with a trip by the Treasury Secretary? Let me say two things. I believe that the U.S. China relationship is in a worse position today than it's been in 30 years. Secondly, does it help for uh, Secretary Yellen to go over? Yes, but I'm not particularly optimistic that it's going to produce some serious uh, positive changes. Okay, so Yellen had outlined three economic priorities for her trip. She said that she wants to secure national security interests, foster mutually beneficial growth and cooperation on global challenges like climate change and debt distress. Do you think that those are what the key factors are for the United States-China relations, or do you think that there are others that she's going to have to tackle? I think there's a more serious issue. The Chinese military has refused to meet with Secretary Austin or to talk about the things that happen if there's a, a problem like in Taiwan where the Chinese jets came in front of a U.S. jet. That, to me, is the most critical issue. And I really do believe that this is the real reason that Janet Yellen is there. She has long-term interests dealing with the U.S. economy, but the military relationship between China and the United States, to me, is number one. Well, how does the Treasury Secretary try to influence that? Well, you've got three people who are important in the government other than the president, the vice president. You got, you've got state, you've got the military, and then you have treasury. Well, they refused, the Chinese have refused to meet with Austin. Anthony Blinken was there two or two and a half weeks ago, didn't have a lot of success. So I think they're sending in the third team to say, we believe you, China, are important. Let's show you some face. But please, we need to discuss this issue. And I think that will be maybe not in the headlines, but really hmm. what is behind this trip. You know, Dennis, let, let me ask you just to sort of analyze this sort of proposition. Is, is what we're talking about here um, hardball economic competition built around national self-interest on the part of the Chinese and on the part of the United States? Or is it something much, much more than that? Tyler, I think we are at a stage where the U.S. and China recognize they are the two major powers in the world. And as a result, number one has to be the security for China for themselves and for us. And only second is going to be economics. For the last 30 years, Tyler, you've essentially had China growing again and again and again based upon economics. But now Xi Jinping is obviously placing a higher priority on national security interest. And if you see what Biden has done over the last year, he would agree. So let's talk about tariffs, which the Chinese would love to see uh, loosened or, or, or taken away entirely, uh, the tariffs that were put in by the prior administration that the Biden administration is stuck with. Is that on the table or not on the table at all in these conversations? In my opinion, it's a secondary issue, Tyler, not a primary issue. What the, the, the economics are simple. The Chinese sell us $535 billion worth of goods a year. We sell them about $176 billion a year. So when, when Trump put on the tariffs, uh, uh, which were in some cases were very high, those tariffs there were um, uh, reacted to by the Chinese. So they put on their own tariffs. But when you have 500 and some billion versus 150 billion, you can see who's hurting. And the Chinese really want this as a priority.